Today we're going to demonstrate the steps required to replace the drive belt in the Gilson Testmaster testing screen. The Gilson Testmaster testing screen delivers accurate particle size separations on large samples, and the internal rotating counterweights of the Testmaster drive system equalizes the vertical screening action for a smooth operation. First, unplug the unit from the power source. Then, unplug the power cord from the unit. Move the Testmaster away from walls to allow sufficient room for working. Next, open the doors, remove any screen trays or pans, and set them aside. Now you're ready to disassemble the unit. Remove the four screws at the corner of the top panel, lift the top panel and hopper assembly off the unit, and then carefully set it aside. Remove the nine mounting screws from the left side panel. Pull this panel away from the machine and set aside. Removing the top cover and left panel is all that is required to replace the drive belt. For this demonstration, all panels have been removed. Locate the motor and loosen, but do not remove, the motor mounting nuts. This will allow for adjustments to be made. Slide the motor carefully towards the center of the unit. This will relieve tension on the drive belt. Slip the drive belt off the pulleys and replace it with a new drive belt. In order to prevent excessive wear on your new drive belt, be sure that the motor and drive pulleys are lined up with each other. At this point, you want to properly adjust the tension on the new belt. The belt tension should be 1 64th the distance between the centers of the pulleys. Once the tension on the belt is properly adjusted, tighten the mounting nuts. Now that you have replaced the drive belt, be sure to inspect the timing belt, the hydraulic pump, the pump pedal, and all other mechanisms for wear. Removing the top cover with hopper and left panel is all that is required to replace the drive belt. For this demonstration, all panels have been removed. Please view the removing and reassembling of the exterior panels of the Gilson Testmaster testing screen video to reassemble the exterior panels and the top cover. Once the Testmaster panels have been reassembled, it is important that the Testmaster be leveled for proper operation. Push the screen trays into the screen tray separator assembly and return the power cord to the unit. The Testmaster testing screen is now ready for operation. For any questions concerning the Gilson Testmaster or for any Gilson product, please contact the Gilson Technical Support Team.